host, Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got a clipper north of here. All it will do is bring it into the nice sunny weather we had over the weekend. And then as a warm front starts to move our way, a pretty spring-like warm front, uh, as it moves in tomorrow evening, it'll bring some showers in here. But this is the weather story. Big storm right there. Off the coast of Southern California, the moisture plume goes all the way back to Vietnam, parts of Southeast Asia. So, boy, this is quite a plume of moisture, feeding a lot of heavy rain in the desert southwest. We've got moisture coming out of the Gulf and a lot of moisture here off the coast of Florida. So this is a big one. It's going to dive to about right here and then almost move due north pretty much through the plains, keeping the heavy snow west of here, but bringing a lot of warm air, rain, storms, and a lot of wind to our viewing area. As we head for the evening, though, we're in fine shape. We're going to stay in the 30s, freezing literally at 11, wind south, southeast at 5, and mid-30s at 9 o'clock. Of course, we're going to focus on that storm. It will be strong with the rain, wind, and even some storms. Three waves of rain are likely, the first of which will arrive later tomorrow evening. And by the time it's all said and done, by, I would say, Thursday afternoon, one to three inches of rain. Now, we may have some flash flooding, but because the waves of rain will be spread out over a longer period of time, that may mitigate some of the effects of the heavy rainfall. Uh, nonetheless, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts possible with the system Warm temperatures 59 to 62 and yeah, perhaps even some storms tonight. Upper 20s to low 30s, 30 Lafayette, 31 Attica, 30 Monticello and about 28 at Burlington and a mostly cloudy too cloudy sky tomorrow. But right now it looks dry and breezy. 43 Peru, 44 Logansport, 47 Lafayette, 48 at Attica. On Futurecast, you can see the clouds coming in after partly cloudy skies for the evening. It's going to be rather gray. We may be lucky to ink out a, a few little peeps of sun tomorrow. And then the rain, the steady rains will hold off until tomorrow night. But I do think a couple showers will make it in here by later tomorrow evening. So there you have the 47 tomorrow, the breeziness around. The warm front is here. That wave of rain comes through tomorrow night. We may get a break for a while Wednesday. Then the main wave of rain will come through. It looks like Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then the cold front will come through with perhaps even a line of storms and a lot of wind with it. Falling temperatures Thursday, a few snow showers Thursday evening, Thursday night, perhaps early Friday morning, and then it just gets cold around here. 38 Sunday, perhaps another round of rain early next week, and then Christmas right now. Long range data suggests 40s on Christmas Eve and some rain. Rain ending on Christmas Day, 46. There you have the seven day forecast with that 47 tomorrow, 58 Wednesday, but rising to 60 Wednesday night, 60 falling Thursday, and then 18 on Sunday morning, Jeff. So uh, we're all over the place. Yeah, you <laughs> called it a brown Christmas at five o'clock. Yeah, brown Christmas uh, looks to be the case now. Let's hope that I'm wrong because I think everybody would like a white Christmas. They would like a white Christmas. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Chad. Yeah. Mike Clef's in the Sports Center for us tonight. Mike, what's coming up?